Hey, it's Joseph here. I've got a product to unbox. I do like big boxes. So this is a Dell monitor that Dell has sent me for review purposes. I'm gonna have to return after the review. The model name is P2422HE, which means that it is a P-series and 24-inch monitor. Let's get it opened. And by the way, the P series means that it is not the highest end, the ultra sharp series from Dell. It is rather more professional level. I think the P stands for professional. You can expect pretty good quality, but not necessarily the most amount of color accuracy. Anyways, the box content has some paperwork along with cable tie. And then I've got the feed for the monitor. And then some cables. This is the power cable, one USB-C to USB-C cable, along with display port to display port cable. So I'll be using that. Let me go ahead and remove the top. Actually, let me undo the feet as well. So here is the feet, and it's got a little screw for you to mount the arm. And then there is the arm, which I just need to undo this tape over here. So as I have said, you just have to line up the arm and the feet and then basically screw this in and make sure that is all sturdy. It probably does swivel, yep. So it does swivel left and right, as well as up and down, and then tilt forward and backwards. We'll test that once we mount the head, but I also wanted to mention that there is a cable routing spot, and then there is the panel. And we wanna be careful when we are lifting this because that is the most fragile part of the monitor. Okay, so here is the panel. As I have stated, it is 24 inch, so it is not that big, but you can see that it is a thin bezel with a little bit thicker bar at the bottom. Let's put it on the stand so I can point at things. So all you need to do is just line this up. And if the prongs line up perfectly, and then it's gonna click and basically that's fixed. Oh, I guess the base of it does swivel like that. And then it can go up and down, tilt, and then you can rotate 180 degrees if you wish to. Sometimes that's kind of useful to connect all the cables to do that. And then you can go up and down as well. So fully adjustable, good. And then on the front, it is quite minimal with a very small Dell logo on the monitor arm, none on its bezel. And on the back side, or rather at the bottom, we can kind of show it this way. Up here, you can see the USB type A ports, two of them, at least 3.0, and then the ethernet cable over there, and then two additional USB type A ports. And then here is the display port. That is the orange cover for the cable. So here is a display port, two of them, and then the HDMI along with the power port. And I think these little slots are for the speaker bar. Oh, and I did forget there is a, it's kind of hard to see on the camera, but it is a USB-C for the display and 65 watts of power delivery. So that's where I'm gonna connect my laptop if I'm wishing for power delivery. So you're charging the laptop as well as a display signal onto this, and then perhaps some of the USB hub functionality. So I'm gonna test that out with the USB-C. And then that is pretty much it at the bottom. If you turn it around slightly, you can see that there is a button along with a little knob for you to turn around. So that is a power button, I'm assuming. And then you can navigate through the menu with this button over here. So that, oh, you can actually click on it too. There is a grill on the top of the monitor. So you can see that over here. Nothing on the side, I think. Let's confirm that. So nothing on its side, a slight grill and identical on the other side. So let's connect it up and test it out. So let's open up the power cable and then you could thread it through this hole over here. So the power should be on at this point. Press the power button maybe. Yep, so it does come on. Yep, I know there is a navigation, English. 
Enable yes for USB-C charging. Yes, good. Okay, so let me go ahead and get my laptop to connect onto this monitor. Pairing up with another Dell laptop and then the USB-C cable that was included with the box. USB-C to USB-C, connect one end to the laptop and then the other to the monitor. And I do need to confirm about the daisy chaining port that was covered by the orange rubber on the back of the monitor. If you were to connect another monitor off of this monitor, so you just connect one cable over here through the USB-C cable, it is displaying something over here. And then you can connect another monitor after through that daisy chaining cable, then you can push the two display connection with one single cable. It is not copying, you can still extend over another one. So it is kind of becoming the daisy chaining, that's the name for it. So in theory, if I am correct, you can have two monitors that are all being connected via one single cable to the laptop and even charging the laptop too. So it makes the whole setup really that easy. Anyways, let's open the laptop. And from here, I can already tell that it is charging because I can see the light over here. Okay, so I got display signal already and it is a mirror mode currently, so I need to adjust that. Okay, so I just splashed up a nice wallpaper so you guys could kind of admire its color and yeah, uh, working without any problem. Let's actually test that daisy chaining thing. So I am just gonna connect it to my other monitor to test if it works. And then the other end to the other monitor that accepts display port. Okay, as soon as I connected, it did actually show up over here. Let me see if I can actually make it so that it is just not duplicating signal all over. So currently we've got this Dell laptop and then the second monitor that I was showcasing, which is number two, and then the third monitor is right here. So it is now being extended. Okay, so the daisy chaining is confirmed. You can connect two monitors. I don't know if you can extend even further, but in my testing, I was just able to test out two. And then basically you can have the laptop screen and then two additional monitors via single cable that is even going to charge your laptop with 65 watts of power delivery. And you can see that my laptop is also being charged. And let's also show you the resolution of this monitor running at 1080p, so 1920 by 1080p pixels. And then in terms of refresh rate, it is running at 60 Hertz. So whilst this is not a performance monitor, it is going to answer you in terms of productivity and kind of professional work that you do in a typical office. So here, as I turn around the laptop, I'm just going to mirror the screen so you guys could see what I'm seeing as well. So I guess this is kind of showcasing like the presentation workflow, if you will. So let's go to the Dell's website and search P2422HE and then the monitor shows up. Dell's 24 inch USB-C hub monitor and it is currently listed at $430 and that is not cheap. So it is kind of like a high end for productivity type of monitor, full HD hub monitor with Comfort View Plus, okay. And going further down, it is a P-series family as I have described, primarily meant for productivity and work. Comfort without sacrificing color, so it is filtering out the blue potentially harmful light emissions whilst maintaining the color accuracy, so that's kind of interesting. And color consistency is in mind with the IPS technology with the 99% of sRGB coverage. So that is really good to see because I could rely on its color whenever I'm doing a little bit of color work. I wouldn't necessarily do a high-end production color work on here, but my regular usage and 99% of sRGB is completely fine. So I'm quite content with this one. 
and then sleek and stylish organize yeah so there is a cable grommet for you to organize your cables comfort is a key yeah tilt swivel pivot and adjust the height as you can see over here you can kind of daisy chain as i have tested that out i guess they are marketing that and there's other type of specs that are listed over here along with the connectivity oh i missed out the kensington lock it is 1920 by 1080 60 hertz native resolution monitor and the brightness is 250 nits response time is 5 millisecond for fast and eight for the normal mode and there's different type of connection types that are available and i do like the screen coating here it is kind of matte so it is anti-glare and the contrast ratio is thousand to one i don't know how much that matters to you but the overall dimension is 21.17 inch by 7.07 inch and 19.53 inch and speaking of the size there is a 27 inch version of this monitor with the same exact function functionality so you can look into that if you would like 24 inch monitors are my preference when it comes to 1080p monitors when i just don't need that much of a resolution i would like to revert back to 1080p and then just have many monitors across so i can just spread the windows across the monitors and get my work done and it is going to still offer me a good color accuracy along with the brightness and then it is not going to be as difficult for the laptops to run so i prefer 1080p at 24 inch maybe a little bit smaller because i could still kind of pick out the individual pixels and because of that reason i don't want to go to 27 inch because i feel that that is just a bit too big that may not be a concern for you but at about three feet distance i think 24 inch is just perfect or maybe a little bit smaller as i've said that is my opinion but this monitor seems to be a quite useful one for me so thanks Dell, for letting me try out this monitor and showcase to my viewers over here if you had wondered about this monitor and found this video useful please like and consider subscribing to my channel if you want to continue watching these type of videos thank you so much for watching as always i'll see you next time bye